Salute to the MABW team. I'm back with another video. Uh, to the black woman out there, I know that you're encouraging you're encouraging a lot of the sisters out there to date white men, but one thing I will tell you is that you're living a fable tale. Now, this doesn't apply to all black women out there, but to the black women that it do apply to, take it with a grain of salt. And this doesn't apply, this doesn't apply to all my white brothers out there. But to the white brothers that it do apply to, take it with a grain of salt. But I believe, ladies, to some of you black women out there, with the attitude that you have and the way that you portray yourself, I don't think that white men want you either. I really don't think that white men really want you either. They probably want you for other reasons, not to be knocking you at all. But some of them probably want you for other reasons and they don't want to actually be with you. That's the thing that some of you women out there don't understand. Yes, there are some successful relationships where white men have taken black women and they've made it work. But with the times that we're living in now, I want to reiterate that with the times that we're living in now. I don't think that any white man wants to commit to you either. And, there, and if there's any of my white brothers out there that want to commit to black women, go ahead, commit to them. And you can find out what some of us black men have been going through for a long time. And like I said, this doesn't apply to all the black women out there. But to the black women that it do apply to, take it with a grain of salt. Y'all keep encouraging the black sisters to go to the white men. And you got to understand, us black brothers... We want the white boys to find out what it's like being with you. We want them to see what y'all have been putting us through for so long. And it's not any shade or any shame, but we actually want the other side to find out what we've been going through for so long. So women like her and various other women out there, y'all can preach all y'all want for black women to go to the white men. Those my brothers too. Salute to all my brothers out there. My black brothers, my Latino brothers, my white brothers, my Asian brothers. Salute to all my brothers out there. But we want them to see what we've been going through for so long. I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's get right into the damn video. I'm be honest with you guys. I love it when black women have white boyfriends. I really do. I'm sorry. Like, be mad at me, but I do. Because the white man just be so obsessed with her. Like, he just be like in love like gasp in every single video he looks like he's shocked that she ever said hide it back to him and then she'd be like we've been together 32 years like, yes queen like you 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 hear the key word right there she stated that in a video a, a, a black lady talked about she was met with a man for 32 years is 32 years ago the 2000s or was that the 90s let's keep it real here see these black women, some of them, they'll come out and talk about relationships that white men have with black women from 32 years ago. Are women 32 years ago like the women today? Are they like the women today? Also, should, no man in general, I don't care who you are, even women, no one in general should be obsessed with anybody. I'm going to repeat that again. Nobody on this earth, but should nobody on earth should be obsessed with their partner. I don't want a woman that's obsessed with me. And no woman should want a man that's obsessed with her. Sometimes when someone is obsessed with you, it could turn out to be real bad because their obsession with you. See, your boy MABW, I'm not going to get up here and just talk to talk. But in reality, nobody should be obsessed with anybody. That could turn out bad sometimes when you have someone that's really obsessed over you. They're willing to damage your house, your car. They're willing to possibly hurt you. They're willing to possibly stalk you. Those situations can always turn out bad. Like that's a treatment we all deserve. Like I'd love to see it. And I feel like in that combination is where I see it the most. I was just scrolling on my timeline, saw a girl press a white boyfriend. He's cute as fuck, too. She's like, me and my man hanging out. I was like, oh, so cute. Da, da, da. And then the rest of it was like, I'm going to let him do my hair. See how y'all take stuff too far? See how y'all take a cute little fun thing and then you just drag it. Like, you just take it so far. I'd rather never have my hair done again ever in life than let a white person put their hands on my head. That's just me. Sorry. 
no loving versus Virginia the way your way out of that you're never changing my attitude on that this question people were gonna ask me was like oh would you ever date a white guy of course I would date a white guy I love white guys oh, in a heartbeat and the only reason why though is because I never plan on having kids you know what I'm saying but if I thought I was gonna have kids no I'm not dating a white guy I am not birthing more biracials more drakes you think the world needs another drake pass I'm just not gonna be the minority the diversity higher in my own home it's too much look at how pale I am I can't I can't hold it up. Could you imagine what them kids would look like? Could you imagine how white them fucking kids would be? And then every time something come out their mouth sideways, they'd be like, it's okay, my mom black. Let me show you a picture. I'm not going to be the let me show you a picture of her parent and they pull up a picture of me in a bonnet. I don't... I'm trying to prove some points. You're not going to use me as a tool to win an argument. I'm sorry. Posted my picture so you could win an argument and now they on Twitter talking about, that's why your mama ugly. I was minding my business. I... <sighs> Let's stop the damn video right there. This is what we have to deal with, fellas. Ladies like her right here. This is what men have to deal with. Now, she's encouraging other black women to date white men, and she thinks it's cool that white men are taking on black women, but she herself wouldn't want to make a biracial baby, but she wants to give out this information. Like, it's cool. It's cool for her to give out that information, but like I said, when she started off this video, she talked about how it was so beautiful seeing a couple that was biracial together for 32 years. And we have to be real here. 30 Women from 32 years ago, even some men from 32 years ago, they're not like the women and men this day and age. And the one thing I will say about us men is men have adapted. So when I say men have adapted, Men have adapted to you women's nonsense. We've adapted to it now. So now, now we know that we have to treat you accordingly. And that's what women don't like. See, women don't like that men this day and age are treating them accordingly now. You women ask for it. Now you're going to get it. You want equal, uh, equal rights. Now you're going to get equal lefts. We've adapted to you. You don't, you, you want to be strong and independent. Show us how strong and independent you are. Show us what you can really do. But and, and re you can't do nothing. You want to get out here and make money? Go out there and make the money. Go out here, build houses. Go out here and take on some of the jobs that men are doing. Show us what you got. But for the most part, some of you women, not all of you, you want to come into men's lives and ruin them. You want to come into men's lives, have babies by them just to put them on child support. You want men to marry you just so you can put them on spousal support later on down the road so you can secure your future. So to all the black sisters out there and all my brothers out there, my white brothers, if you want to take on black women, go ahead and take them on. And if the black one, if the black women out there want to keep encouraging the white men to uh, accept black women, hey, let them figure out what y'all like in real time, because as far as us black guys speaking for us, I think we've had enough of y'all nonsense. And I'm not saying that we will never date y'all, but we just know y'all ways now and we know what y'all are up to. So that's why we've pushed away, not from actually like knocking you down. I'm not going to say that. But as far as like committing, marrying you, cohabitating with you, it's more of that factor. We've decided that we don't want to go there anymore with you. So it's not about not dating black women or hanging out with black women. It's just that we're not going to cohabitate and marry you anymore. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.